show tonight is called Dan Quayle's Dance Party. How did Dan Quayle ever end up hosting a teen dance show, you might ask? Well, dance party shows are more popular now than ever before, and apparently Republican bigwigs advised him to do it to get in good with the young people. I think Dan may have finally found his calling, but you won't find this show on your TV dial. As you'll see in this clip, the vice president was yanked off the pilot episode. Everybody, that was a super dynamite little tune from the Poison Minds off their live album, Hello Los Angeles. What do you say we all boogie down with Tarmika and her new cool hit, Whoa, 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 Whoa? After they rate records and learn new dance steps, Dan reads letters from viewers, which turns out to be his undoing. Dear Dan, you are a really buff dude. <laughs> hey, what's it like being vice president? Well, it's really kind of neat and groovy, because everyone wants to see you and stuff. And it's kind of like being Bon Jovi. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's it. Get up. Let's go. All right, go on. Oh, oh, Marilyn, I'm not done at the dance party yet. That's what you think, kind of like being Bon Jovi. You kids, go ahead and dance if you want to, but the vice president is going to be in his room for a week. Come on, let's go. Oh, out of here. Marilyn. You're a dancer. Who told you you could dance? Don't be ridiculous. What is on your face? You're getting a burn. You don't have any lotion on. Look at you.